Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So you can see we have Princess Jasmine and she's huge, right? Because look at my hands, look how big she is. So I'm actually going to piece this together a little bit differently than I normally would um, because she's so big. She's gonna be about four feet high. And so everything is super, super big and I thought it would be really hard to record it. So I'm just going to show you how to put from her neck up. I brought in all these pieces, but um, we're probably just going to do this top part. We'll see how it goes. And I'm putting it together differently only because I know that this is going to have a lot of wear and tear. So it's gonna be used for more than one time. And so I wanna make sure I'm switching out some things. Um, I normally don't use um, glue, but I'm gonna be using Barely Art glue. It is one of my favorite glues. Um, it's great in this particular, I usually don't use it for my off the mat because um, with cardstock and on a big piece, I don't want to have it curl. Not that this would, but I just don't want any impacts to my cardstock. But for this, most of it is glitter cardstock or heavy cardstock, like this um, skin color is really thick paper. So we're gonna try that. Um, all right, the other thing that I wanna point out is Jasmine's hair. I isolated the hair from the black background so that her hair is shimmery, but not the rest of the black background. And I did that partially because, you know, with her being so big, I was gonna have a cut in the hair and I didn't want it to be so obvious. In this case, I don't mind if the seam shows because for me, it's a natural part right here. So there is a seam right there. You can probably see just a little bit of it. Um, but you'll see less of it once we tape it down because then it's gonna be right up next to each other. It's gonna be taped from behind. Um, so you probably won't see it, but that's why I did that. Um, other than that, let's get started. So I'm gonna move all the pieces off. I wanted to put it on to make sure that um, it was gonna work. And then, uh, so that you can recognize that, you know, who it is. All right, so I'm moving this over. I'm keeping the eyes together because I don't want to have to think about which circle goes with which. So I'm going to move that to the side. This isn't a big deal. We can. These are such big pieces. It's um, it takes a lot of time to go through the design process and cut it, but the pieces are so big that they're you know it's much easier to put together. All right, so here's our black background. Um, and you see it's in four pieces. So we're going to tape it together. Now I'm not too worried about how it's gonna look from behind because the behind is actually going to then be on top of a foam board. Because if you can see Frida behind me and then also my sugar skull, um, they're on a foam board so it allows a sturdiness um, to the whole project and then you can stand it propped up against the table or the wall like I have here and they photo really well, and it's perfect for party decor. So what we don't wanna do is tape from the front because as you saw, there are gonna be some pieces where you, you know, some areas where you can still see the background, the black background, like through the eyes, right? So you wanna tape everything from behind. So you wanna flip this over and I, yeah, this is not how I normally do it. So I just wanna make sure everything is I don't think is this right that is right okay now um if you follow how I do the off the mat I do do it on a grid because I like the four corners to meet up here it's easy to piece together um so that's why I do my grid so to make sure that there's just no gaps or any overlays all right so the way I tape is from behind and then two pieces at a time so I lift up this piece I push it up as far as I can and I just want, you know, we're just trying to work on the seams. You know, the whole point is to make it big, but look beautiful and seamless. And so right now we're just trying to minimize anywhere that where there would be a seam that we push it up so close against each other that hopefully we don't notice it. Okay, I'm just gonna tape this down a little bit more. And then what you wanna do is really if you think about this face, um, you know, there's the actual skin color that's sitting on top, the eyes, the lips, the hair. So really the background 
the seams you're only going to see towards the edge. So this edge right here, uh, oh, did it get kind of fuzzy a little bit? You want to tape it all the way to the edge so that that edge has no movement. So, all right, so that's down. Let's do these two pieces. And I'm gonna put this down just to let the camera refocus for a second. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna switch the screen for a second just to restart it. All right, so same thing with this piece. I'm gonna lift it up, push it you know, really, really close, and then tape it down. Then I'm gonna go and tape the edge. And you wanna make sure that your tape doesn't show at all because as you can see, you can see that here. All right, let me flip the, I know, my, my messy, messy, messy background right there. All right, let's see. It still didn't really, give me one second, okay. Did it refocus? No, it didn't. Let me move this in a little bit. All right, there, that's better. All right, so now we have these two pieces. You know exactly where it goes. Everything kind of ends, you know, like it ends at the same place. You know exactly where it should go. That's kind of like why I like to build that grid. Okay, so now the four squares go down. I'm pushing it up against each other. I'm just gonna tape it down. And then I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that down here it's taped. Now this is gonna be taped to the rest of her body. She is, you know, about four feet, so it's going to be a long piece. So that's not the edge, but this is the edge up here, so. All right, let's flip her over. So now we have this piece. Now we can put down everything. And let's see where everything goes. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap right here because I can see the blue through there. But it's gonna be covered. Hopefully that doesn't impact us at all. Mm, all right, I think that piece goes there. So now we're just putting it down and making sure that everything is lined up properly. And then there's a seam right here, but you're not gonna notice that really, hopefully not. as well as a seam over here. But you see, once I push them up close to, to each other, it's really hard to see it. And then this little guy goes here. So what I'm gonna want to do is, I'm actually gonna tape this all together. So I'm gonna flip this one over and tape from behind. So same thing like the other. I wanna push it up against each other and then tape it down. Oh, that little piece of tape got caught. Oh, this piece is so small. <laughs> the seam is really tiny. I mean, it's why I picked it right there, but it's a little bit hard to tape down. And we don't really need to tape it down. I just thought it was going to be easier to keep track of. And I feel like I was wrong in that. <laughs> All right, let's get this over. So now we know it's like this.
a lot of this is just making sure that everything fits um, and that it's evenly spaced because once you go and you you know tape it down obviously you can't really move it afterwards okay so this is all down and so I this one's gonna go on last but what we can do is we can put the face down so this looks really really good right um we can put the face down because we know where it goes All right, so with the Barely Art Glue, this is the overnight um, stopper. So you just twist off, it's super easy to use. Put on the precision tip. And so you can see, oh, yeah. Oh, there you can see it. I love this tip. It's not going to go to the edge and it's okay if we don't get glue everywhere. Um, the other option is, you know, afterwards, we can always squeeze under a, um, whatchamacallit, a little tape circle thingy, like double-sided tape. So We don't have to get everything, and I just don't want to go to the edge. Oh, there's like a little... bump on her face. Okay. All right, so let's do her hair next. So we'll take this out. And because everything's already placed down, we can just lift up a little bit to put the glue down. This little guy, I can just put the glue on in the back. So that's down. Let's do her lips. Oh. So I like this 
little guy because on this side it's tacky um, so I can do this and then this side is just so I can push on things so I just want to get the the lips in the right place Does that look good? It's so hard to tell. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up, apply the glue, Then I'm going to do the teeth. And you want to just hold down to make sure that in this initial part when it's um, getting glued down you just want to hold it so that it doesn't curl up at all it has the pressure to go down and stay down and I'm just going to I put a little bit of too much glue right there okay so I'm just gonna hold that down for a second but it dries clear so we're gonna be good okay then we have this last part Okay, so as you can see, this project takes a really long time if you're really, you know, particular about where things go. So let's do her eyes next. So here is this little piece. Oops. I'm trying to see, yeah, it's lower down here with a bigger space up top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that little white ball first. So here's my glue. Glue this down. This little guy has not been working for me today. It's brand new, so I think the tack isn't really Let's see if the next piece is better. This. All right, so let's get this guy down. Now the other thing is, um, so I when I did, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I did Selena, um, one of the last pieces that I put on her face was, I can't remember if it was her eyes or what did I, oh, it was the earring. And so I was doing, I was blinging out the earrings 
and the earring fell down, glue side down on her face where it wasn't supposed to be. So the nice thing with this project is that you could just recut the face and put it on top, which is what I did. I mean, you don't obviously have to start the whole project over, but it's nice that all the pieces aren't connected together because if you needed to recut or put down for some reason again, you can easily do it. All right, let's do this eye and then we're gonna call it a day for this piece. But now you can see how um, off the mat works. It's just a big puzzle, right? Like the background that you're gonna slice up into pieces that the Cricut can cut. And I always use 12 by 12 cardstock because I'm doing tutorials for you guys and I'm assuming that most of us only have 12 by 12 cardstock. I do have 12 by 24, but it's more expensive and it's harder to store and all that good stuff. So um, I primarily use 12 by 12 cardstock. And now that you know all my tr tricks, um, Tag me when you do it. I love seeing the final projects. All right, so let's start with the eye, the little dot. And you can see the favorite feature of this glue for me is the tip. It's the precision tip and it puts out just enough glue, nothing crazy, nothing messy. And I love it for, especially my chip bag tutorial. I know you guys have been watching that lately. It's one of my favorite projects right now. <laughs> All right, let's get this one down. Um, it just puts out enough, it dries quickly, it dries clear, so it's got all the great features, but my favorite is that tip. All right, here we go. All right. I will see you next time. Let me know what you want to see, which characters, um, projects. I'm all over it. All right. <laughs> Bye.